Welcome back to my channel. I am Shokwe of Sensational Cakes and Desserts. It's been a long time. Hope you missed me because <laughs> I missed you. So here is um, another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to cover a, a top forward cake in whipped cream. Now, is this top forward cake is a new trend. It's a very nice design if you ask me. I love the way it looks. It looks unique and it speaks class. So I'm going to be teaching you how to decorate it in a very easy way. Let's get to it. We're going under. The first thing I'm going to be doing in this video is to mix my whipped cream with the color I want. So I was trying to achieve a peach color here. That's why I'm using this red color. Though you could use other red colorings, but yeah, I I had this one, so I use it. Normally, this is not what I use to color my red, or I use a cabado color or any nice color I see around. But this one, I just had it, so I just thought to use it so if i'm trying to get the peach color most times i just use like light orange or light red but this one i don't know it ended up giving me pink so yeah i just went ahead with it really it's not about the color i was just playing around with it because my clients wasn't specific with the color they wanted so i mixed in properly and so i got the color i needed so after coloring i'm just going to go ahead and cover my cake in this my whipped cream is really stable i mixed it kept it in the chill a little bit before using so yeah our cake has already been crumb coated ready for decoration so i'm just going to go in and mix and um, cover my cake properly you know cover cover up so you have a very neat cake and everything so you don't have to just do the basics really we are going to get to the point where we're going to get to the point where you know energy will be needed for for now we're just covering the cake with with cream then yeah So my cake is all set and I'm just going to toss this in the chiller for about 30 minutes because I need my cake really, you know, strong and ready for the next step. My cake already was already very cool here. Yeah. It had been in the chiller for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. It was already very solid here. So it was easy for me to do whatever I want to do on the cake. So I'm just going to go in and cut through the cake now now when you are doing some um, cake um, top forward cake you could use a wider cake it depends on how big or how long you, you want your cake to be so i was just playing around with this cake this is an eight inch cake so i just you know I, I ended up getting a longer cake not a taller cake like not a wider cake rather so i was having like a longer one like when i turned the cake and all of that but yeah so you cut in, you don't have to cut it like in the middle, you just cut like one side, just cut a little bit so that your cake will be able to balance well on your board. So I'm adding buttercream to this so that it will be easy for my cake to sit on the next board because I'm going to switch the boards. Now whenever I'm doing this, I whenever I'm making a top forward cake. I like to use baking paper to help me you know so i don't end up touching the cake and all of that so you just guide put the board that you want to use your final board where you want your board to, your cake to sit on that's the board i'm turning this cake to now then i put the baking paper there to support it so that i don't end up smearing the cake with my hand i'm just using the knife to like raise it up so, because i know the cake was obviously it had been in the chiller so it was obviously stuck to that but i covered it covered it on so just use the knife to like remove the cake from it so it's easier for me now this is all set the baking paper is on it the board is there i'm just going to switch it to that board now 
after switching it to that board you can see it was you like i didn't have to like you know stress myself by touching the part that already covered so it's just easy that way very easy then this is the board i'm using this is our cake so when you are covering a top forward cake you always have to end up covering the back that's the part that was open so i'm going to do that now so the next thing to do now is to cover the parts that was already open like this part that is open so i'm just going to use the whipped cream that we have left and cover it properly now i usually do this very carefully and you have to do it carefully as well because you don't want to spoil what you've already covered before so you just go in carefully and focus on the part that is open only and the edges because you want to have a nice front and a nice back as well so you just keep you know adding your icing whatever icing you are using and keep going little by little you know so you cover everything and you know smoothing out little gently if there's any need to add any extra whipped cream add any add extra and just keep going on and on that way because yeah you want a very neat and beautiful looking cake so after using my palette knife to apply my whipped cream here i'm going to use my cake comb to do the finishing you know to just make it really really smooth so it matches the front as well that's the front i just had to like smoothen it out it was already neat and the reason why it was that neat was because i used the baking paper to support it so my hand didn't touch it directly and it was smooth so you just do the same thing to the um to the open part keep smooth um smoothing it clean clean it up make it look really neat and then go all out so after smoothing it after it's all looking clean and everything you know your cake is already even looking neat and then the next thing is to just do the finishing look at how beautiful that cake looks so that's like you know it needs cake any finishing you are doing to this cake you know doesn't have to be so much drama just a little bit and yeah you cannot add the finishing so i just added a little bit of accessories these are like um, pearls they are not edible but yeah they are pearls i just use them on cakes and you know add them to the cake because my client was going for a round cake initially but i just felt why do regular when we can always do something different so i did added a little bit of flowers to eat as well added flowers pillars just different things just make your cake pop and to make it look different as well added a little bit of more um, sugar um, beads on it just to give it an extra classic touch and and then i finished it up with finished it up with the cake supper can't you see that beauty so that's the finished look of our top forward cake i hope you learned something new i hope you are going to try this out please kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel and kindly give us a thumbs up kindly share our video as well i am happy to share this video as much as i would love to share more please give us a thumbs up subscribe and like our, and share our video as well thank you for watching and i'm seeing you in my next video bye